In this tutorial, I'm showing you the best Streamlabs OBS settings. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button and then go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you found this video useful as in covering the full settings for Streamlabs. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So if you haven't already got Streamlabs, you want to simply come to streamlabs.com and you can come and download it here. It's around 240 megabytes. So all you need to do is simply download this uh, tool and then you can go and install it. Once you have done that, we can now go and get into optimizing the best settings for Streamlabs. So we can close off this and let's go and open up Streamlabs. Here we go. And here we are. So currently you can see my second monitor, which is here, which has got my OBS Studio and my Audacity, but I'm showing you how to stream using Streamlabs. Um, but you can also stream using OBS Studio. Um, it depends what you prefer. Anyways, let's go and get into this. So currently I have got a scene here. If you want to make a new scene, all you want to do is click this plus button and you can go and create a new scene and you can go and add sources by clicking this plus button. Um, I could go and add my uh, display again and click add source and uh, then I can go and add it like that. But now let's go and get into the settings. So what you want to do is come to the bottom left and click on this cog and then it's going to go and bring up the settings. So Currently we're in the general section. Now most of these are gonna be up to you so you can sort of have them have you like. You wanna come down to stream. So stream is where you can be entering your Twitch key or wherever you're streaming so you can trade your service to YouTube and you can go and enter your stream key for YouTube. Um, so that's up to you. But now let's get into the main settings which is under output. So you wanna to come to output and click on streaming and make sure it's on advanced, not simple, click advanced. Then let's go and get into this. So for encoder, I recommend using NVEC new if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, if you don't, just use X264. NVEC new is honestly the best if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. Then you wanna make sure enforce streaming service encoder settings ticked. And you wanna set this rate control to CBR. This means constant bit rate. If it's on, v on VBR, it means variable bit rate and the bit rate is gonna be changing. Now the bit rate is basically how fast you're streaming. So you want to make sure this works with your internet. So for example, 2500 will work fine. 3500 is probably ideal if you're streaming at around 720p, um, 60 FPS. So therefore 3000 is okay, probably if you're going at uh, 720p, 30 FPS, but you'll just have to see um, how much it buffers. Um, so yeah, testing the bit rate is honestly really important. So I do recommend doing that. You can then leave the keyframe at zero, that's fine. For the present, you've got a ton of options here. Now basically, um, this is gonna choose where you prioritize quality or um, performance. So if you really want high performance in games, then go for uh, max performance, and it's gonna prioritize your performance over the quality. Uh, I'm at quality, but like I said before, this is a testing game. You just wanna test what works best and looks best, um, and it probably depends what you're streaming as well. Um, so yeah. For profile, I recommend having that on high. That seems to work best. Um, and then I have these on zero and two. Then all you have to do is come to audio. And as you can see here, you can go and choose your mic. So you want to come down to mic auxiliary device and I can select my mic here. Um, so I'm going to go for this one here. And then it's going to go and show you your sound here. Uh, and you can go and choose your desktop audio as well. Um, so I'd go and choose my speakers, which is where my audio is outputted to. Then you want to come down to video. Now here, we've got the few options here. So the base canvas resolution is what this actually looks like. Um, and then the output scaled resolution is what's actually being streamed. So I actually currently stream at 720p, but this canvas is at 1080p. Um, so yeah, that's just sort of the main bit. So I personally use the Billy near downscale filter. So just see what works best for you and looks best. I actually quite like this just because it still looks fa it still looks clear, but it's also fast as well. If you're using the, uh, say like Lanxos, that's gonna be a lot more intensive in your computer. And then for the FPS, I personally have it on 60 usually, um, but 30 does look fine as well. And then we've got the hotkeys. Now these are completely up to you. You could set a button to start and stop streaming. So if I wanted, um, say, this bracket to go and start streaming, then that's how you do it. Honestly, really simple. I can go and remove it as well uh, by clicking this button here. And then come down to advanced. Now process priority, I recommend this being on normal. Essentially, you can increase this even more, but you then may see an impact on your game or other things you're doing on your computer because more priority is being put on Streamlabs than your other games being run. For color format, NV12 actually works better than RGB in my opinion for streaming. Um, so yeah, I have mine on NV12. 
These are mostly default as well, I'm pretty sure. So um, the 601 is default and the partial is default. I personally do force GPUs run a device, seems to work well, and the rest of these honestly don't matter too much. Um, you can have delays and stuff and retries, but honestly, you shouldn't need to worry about that too much. And that's pretty much the main settings. You then got scene collections, notifications, um, and you've got a few other sort of remote control stuff. So that is the main bit. So then you wanna go and click done. And now we'll be ready to go and start streaming. So you click go live or start recording if you want to record. And you can go and add more sources as well. So if you want to have a webcam, you click the plus button. And then you want to, would want to go and click on, uh, I think you would want video capture device or webcam. You click there and then you can go and choose um, what device you'd like, like a webcam um, or a capture card. So yeah, that is today's video. If you found it useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.